Hi everyone, welcome back to B-17, the Mighty 8th Squadron Commander series. This is going to be episode 2 and just a few things to fill you in before we get going. So first of all, I had a problem with the games from the game files got corrupted. I think possibly due to a driver update, but I've just spent the last two and a bit hours uh, reinstalling the game and reinstalling all the mods I believe I was using. So if there's a mod or two missing when we do this, yeah, you'll have to forgive me, I'll get it added in later. Um, the good news is, and there is some good news after all that, the save file was okay, so we've managed to keep all 12 bombers. Um, so that's good news. And uh, there is a slight update on um, the bombers we had last time, and I'll show you that now. So as you know, Miss Chief went out last time as the lead, completed the mission, got two kills. First mate went out last time, um, but unfortunately we had to do a forced landing several fields away from the airfield and the aircraft was too badly damaged and it's been written off and uh, they've been given a new aircraft hiking for home. But the good news is um, the crew are all okay. Now mission, uh, so bomber three killing time was okay, one mission complete, one kill. Miss Irish again, one mission, one kill. Hurry Home Boys also completed the mission with no kills, and Laden Maiden went out as bomber number six. Unfortunately, due to the damage Laden Maiden had, although she didn't appear to be too bad if you remember she was B, um, the amount of time and uh, effort um, that we scrapped that bomber and she's now got All American, which is uh, got the nose art of L uh, Lotus Stern. So they've got a new bomber, but it's the same crew, do not worry, just got a new aircraft. Today, We'll be looking at um, Beauty in a Box, Holy Terror 3, Fuddy Duddy, Black Magic, Billy Boy, and Going My Way. So let's have a look at the crew for those those bombers. So uh, rather than me having to uh, chance that I get a decent text color for the actual people, uh, we're going to go through it here. So Beauty in a Box is going to be our lead bom bomber today. The bombardier is going to be um, Blade Paxton. Um, obviously no missions to date. Outlaw Deadwood is going to be the Navigator. Virus Hawk is going to be the Pilot. I just realised, obviously it's surname first, so apologies for the first two. Obviously reverse those. Um, then we have Billy Nesbitt, <laughs> good old Billy, as uh, Co-Pilot. We have um, Dave as the top turret gunner. Now we have um, Travis Baker as the radio operator. Uh, Gristle McThorn body as the bull turret gunner. Dark Angel as left waist. Moser as right waist. And on the tail we have Comma Man. Good. So after that, bomber number two will be Jack Stevens in as the bombardier for Holy Terror three. Navigator for Holy Terror will be uh, Zyrus Brothers. Pilot is Joe something political. Or actually, I didn't have enough letters, so it had to be something political. Just uh, that isn't a spelling mistake. That is, I ran out of characters, so I just had to try and fudge it. Uh, Mars Nickel is the co-pilot. Fred Callahan is top turret. Jake uh, Grubovac, Grubovac, sorry I've probably butchered that Jake, is the radio operator. Alexand Burnett will be the bull turret. Then left waist we have Sadistic Monk. And on right waist we have R Sharpie. And on tail we have um, Rhett Murat. So um, some of those you'll be wondering why they got an initial. So if I only get a single name like this, I think this was just Sharpie. Um, it requires a, a first name or an initial. So I, I just keep the initial as in whatever the default name was, but just delete it. So that if in case you're wondering, that's what's happening there. Right, Bomber 3 is Fuddy Duddy. We have Mitch Clark as the Bombardier. 
Uh, Amar Ramik as the uh, navigator, or Amar, or Amar. I'd say Amar, but I know someone in America would probably say Amar. Um, okay, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, Jack Nay is the pilot. Wesley Landry is the co-pilot. Thomas RB is the top turret gunner. Uh, David Miller is radio operator. Uh, Danny Ryax Ace is the ball turret. Timothy Dolan left waist. Right waist we have Richie Lyon 24. And on the tail we have Douglas Adam. Nice. Right, so the next bomber up will be Black Magic, where we have Drew um, Sylvia as the bombardier. We have Brett Jennings as the navigator. Ryan Barden as the pilot. Christian Fernandez as the co-pilot. Corey Ebervine as the or Ebervine as the top turret gunner. Sorry if I'm butchering your names. Carl Divian as the radio operator. Lux von Fliegel as the bull turret gunner. Brian Barden as left waist. Vincent Ray as right waist. And Elliot Tomlinson as the tail gunner. Next up we have Billy Boy. Uh, Archangel Alex as the bombardier. Josh Reed as the navigator. Watcher as the pilot. Thomas Kirkland as co-pilot. Conrad McStudio as the top turret gunner. Johnny Wolfgang McPherson as the radio operator. James L. Smith as the bull turret gunner. Charlie Algrera as the left waist gunner. Wilbert T. Goose as right waist. And on the tail we have Reggie Fitzgerald. Fantastic. Last but no, no means least, we have Going My Way. Bombardier is um, Muggle on uh, first up. See Winter, well, Winter 108 as Navigator. Again, that's just a default character for the first name. Um, James Road as the Pilot. Jamie, Dark, Jamie Darkhawk as the Co-Pilot. Anthony Smith as top turret gunner. Chester Nimitz Jr. as radio operator. Zoe Knight as uh, bull turret. So I couldn't see the actual position then. And Rene as the left waist. Griffin M. Downing as the right waist. And last but no, no means least, Stanley Haynes as the tail gunner. Good stuff. Phew. Right, some things to let you know. I've had a lot of comments which I've had to answer uh, regarding people requesting to volunteer to be a member of the crew, saying, oh, they were the first comment, second comment, whatever. Um, just to put the record straight, there is no advantage to being the first person to put your name down on that video. I let the video run for uh, several days and then I use YouTube's random comment picker to select the 120 people out of the 247 names offered. Uh, so it didn't matter if you were the first person to put a comment or the last person to put a comment. If you put your name in the comment section during the uh, window of opportunity, as it were, then everyone stood the same chance of getting picked. And that's with the random comment picker. So I hope that clears it up. Um, one final thing, uh, I cannot rename replacement crew who come in to replace obviously injuries and stuff. So um, yeah, don't don't keep asking because I don't know of a way of doing that unless there is a way of doing that and somebody can let me know. Unfortunately, that is not something that is available to us at the moment. Right, um, let's get back 
in the game, shall we? So 8th Air Force, we're focused directly invasion priorities. Targets to be hit are bridges, marshalling yards, and rail junctions. Um, leading to the invasion area, are airfields within range of the invasion area also. Okay, great. So that is what we need to uh, look at today. So let's plan this mission. Uh, now, our recon we sent out last time is probably going to be pretty pretty useless because we sent a recon over here for the um, for the harbour. See what that was. And we put some recon up here, didn't we? Uh, for this Bremen oil refinery and the Hamburg oil refinery, which is not much good, really. What we need is um, bridges, railway junctions, that kind of thing. So obviously... The invasion area is here, um, but we don't really have any marshalling yards or bridges. We've got a harbour, St. Nazier, U boat, press U boat, um, bomber school down there, a couple of air bases which are potentially the targets. There's not much down in France, is there really? Air bases, vehicle repair airfields so there's not much going on in france or you know in that part of france to be fair and these are airfields we have a troop concentration here which is a potential target um but there's no bridges or marshalling yards which is probably what we need to be hitting you know, it's all right taking out that troop concentration, but that's just, you know, a troop concentration. I hope, uh, that's oil production. Oil, 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 airfield, rail. Oh, here we go. Rail junctions near Lille. Rail junction. Bruges rail junction. Ghent rail junction. This is more like the stuff we need to be hitting. And now I know this is... Not in the invasion, directly in the invasion area, but you know this is where they'd ship by train all men and goods towards the area to uh, reinforce the troops there. So if we can knock that out early, then they're going to have problems sending those there. Marshalling yard down there. Then we got a road bridge. Okay, what do we have here? Rail junctions. Okay, what I'm thinking we're going to do. We're going to go blind for the Bruges Rail Junction as our primary target. Secondary target can be the Ghent Rail Junction. And then maybe the Rulers Rail Junction as the Tertiary. Rulers Rail Junction as the Tertiary. There we go, that's much better. Right, so we'll be flying south, coming into the uh, Thames Estuary as it were. Um, we don't really want to fly over Dunkirk, do we? Let's come over. Let's come over here because we've got we've got some Spitfire bases around here. It should protect us. It won't obviously. It makes no difference, but in my head it does. Uh, let's move these. The decision point we can bring back. It's going to be a really sh relatively short distance-wise mission. This one. Um, what altitude have we got up to here? Twenty thousand, thirty thousand. I don't really need to be at thirty thousand for this one. Uh, let's bring that down to about 25,000 would be fine, I think. Good. Let's bring that down. Decision points, 25,000. Um, so we'll set the primary down to 25,000. I'm going to have to extend the length of the uh, the text time before it fades out. You can do that in the roads and rivers. Or rivers and roads. I can't remember which file, it, what the file name is. Something like that anyway. Ah! 25,000. There we go. Got it. Uh, 25,000. Uh, so where's the, that's the decision point. Let's try and get this into some sort of order, shall we? So you can come down there. And fly along here. The decision point's going to be there. From there, we can then break to go into the rulers, which can be 25,000 as well. Bring that wide so we're not clipping in that flak field. And then we've also got the Ghent rail junction here, which can also be 25,000. Lovely, right. Uh, you can then break and go that way. Where is, is that the rally? Let's do, uh, put that there. 
so we can bomb there and then make a break that way we can come down here bomb and then turn a little bit earlier they're quite sharp bends actually aren't they um, can we perhaps bring that one there and bring that one to about there There we go. I'm just trying to rule out too many 90 degree bends because 90 degree turns in damaged bombers once they've been for a flak field is never the ideal kind of treatment you want to give them. Uh, you can't really do it, but um, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. It's not the best. Uh, let's just check these. So that's 30,000, what is that 30,000? That should be 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 30, great. Why is that one, why is the approach 30 there? I can't change that. Ah, that's why. No, nope, can't change that one either. Brilliant. Oh well. Bizarrely, those approaches. Why can't I change the approach for that? Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five. Twenty-five thousand. Yeah, I cannot adjust that at all. Brilliant. Wonderful. It's really useful. Thank you for that. Right. Let's um, plan our three reconnaissance missions. Um, what's that? That's uh, production. We want to look for these rail junction. We're going to have a look at that one. Road bridge, a marshalling yard. Okay. Here we go. What have we got here? Steelworks, industrial, rail junction, rail junction, that's a marshalling yard, so we're going to check on that marshalling yard. I'll go for the Cologne marshall yard as well. I know that's not, you know, again, it's not in the direct invasion area, but again, it stops them. It destroys the infrastructure, be able to ship spares, supply stuff, and all that kind of jazz. Good, so Bruges Rail Junction, Ghent Rail Junction, anti-personnel clusters, uh, do we want any personnel clusters? Or do we want to go with something more like incendiaries? And that way we can get things on fire burning if there's any fuel tanks, that kind of thing. So we've got armor piercing, probably not. We could probably go with general purpose. Yeah, general purpose and incendiary looks good. Mission bombers. Beauty in the Box is going to be the lead with Holy Terror number two, Fuddy Duddy three, Black Magic four, Billy Boy five, Going My Way number six. Excellent. Good. All ready to go. Let's head into briefing for the cruise. So here we are, 4th of May 1944, Bruges Rail Junction, Ghent Rail Junction, Rulers Rail Junction. 6 times 500 pound general purpose, 12 times 100 pound incendiary. Distance to father's target, 427 miles. The escorts will be 1 squadron of P-47s, 1 squadron of P-51s. Bruges Rail Junction, flak is moderate, fighter is moderate, priority is high, damage is none. This junction handles traffic coming through Holland and northern Germany down to occupied France. The terrains passing through here often carry troops, supplies, ammunition and other resources vital to the Wehrmacht and other German military forces in the area. Blocking this junction will cause supply chaos until they can get the trains moving again. The Ghent Rail Junction is flak strength low, fighter strength low, priority medium. Handles a great deal of traffic and is a rail bottleneck. The trains passing through often carry troops, supplies, ammunition and other resources. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty much the same. The rulers, or the rulers, rail junction, flak low, fighter low, priority medium. And it's the same kind of description. Lovely. Right. 
No reconnaissance film, we've seen the map. Let's head to the bombers. Okay, we've been through the cruise. Now let's have a look at the bombers. So lead is going to be beauty in the, in the box. Mixture auto rich. Number two, we have Holy Terror 3. Booster pumps. Then we have Fuddy Duddy as the next bomber along. Next up is Black Magic. For Nautilus, we have Billy Boy. And last, but by no means least, we have Going My Way. Good stuff. Right, we're going to get these boys Energy. up in the air and hopefully good and going. So how many bombers do we have coming out tonight? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bombers heading up today. Good stuff. Right, we're going to get pressing on right away. I'll see you very shortly. Welcome back everyone, that is Kent below us, we are now heading out from England over to France, look at this, contrails are gleaming, marking our positions, cloud isn't too bad at all, it's a uh, fairly high cloud today so it's uh, fairly clear low down, um, which makes us quite visible with our trails, but um, yeah hopefully we can spot the enemy coming in as well. Quick, um, tell you where we are. 8:20 in the morning. Just coming up to 25,000 feet now. Speed is 149. Heading 109. Here we are on the map. Just coming past uh, Ramsgate. We'll soon be in the air coverage of the Luftwaffe, so we need to be very cautious about what's going on after that. Here is our decision point. From there, we will see what the weather's like in Bruges, Ghent, and uh, the tertiary target down here, uh, and see how we will go. Um, everything seems to be okay, fairly positive. That's great that that's not showing up, but never mind. Yep, and brilliant, and they're not showing. Always useful when the text doesn't come in. I'll have to try and get rid of that. I don't like that. Um, so I have to change my text back. Right. Well, we're over the English coast some time ago, but um, it's all quiet on the Western Front, so we're going to press on. I'll see you very shortly. And it's three low. FW 190s. Good hits, good hits. Goodness me. How are we doing? I oh, didn't take any hits. I'm sitting on black magic, I think I'm sitting on. I've just been circling through the bombers, making sure everything's okay. Yes, it was black magic indeed. Let's keep cycling. Who we got next? Billy Boy. Let's hop onto Billy Boy. See what's going on. The fighter out there he appears to be friendly because no one is firing at him. We'll keep an eye on him just in case he does banks into us. Or quite possibly there's another aircraft which has been hidden by the wing, which is Trace is going out. I don't think that's for him though. No, it's for that aircraft there. Good hits. FW 190s by looks of it.
popping onto going my way. Let's see how they get on. Some something burning over there. Look, well, I think one of our friendlies has shot down the other aircraft. Fantastic. Well done, little friends. Good hits. Good hit. She's burning. Oh. Get in. Is that a friendly? No one's firing at her. But she looks menacing doing that. I wouldn't keep flying like that, buddy. Friendly or not, I'm going to put some rounds into you. Yeah, that's a thunderbolt. That's a thunderbolt. Yellow nose. It's okay. It's another friendly. Thunderbolt. They're zipping off. Maybe they've seen some more fighters. Or, that, or maybe they're going to regroup. Oh, we're now banking. That's the French coast. Right, let's quickly hop on to uh, the radio operator and see if... Well, okay, hang on. Hop on to the um, navigator. We are at the decision point. Right, let's go back to the lead aircraft. Still some tracers whizzing round. Right, we need to do a quick weather check. Okay. Weather at primary target is believed to be ah, cloudy. Bugger. Cloud at 30,000 feet. At 30, Let me just get the primary again. Weather at primary target is believed to be cloudy with six tenths cloud at approximately 30,000 feet. Wow, that is a really high cloud, but we're flying at 25,000, so that should not be too much of a problem for us. Looks like so we've got another squadron just come in. Yeah, you can see the cloud is really high today, so I think we've got lucky. There doesn't seem to be much low level cloud so it's a beautiful May day by the looks of it we should be okay where is the uh, where did they go they've got something over there do you see them just over here it's funny daddy up there Um, I've got a fear. I've got a fear. This might be some more fighters coming in. We've got a fight. He's going. Save, save our mate. Save our mate. I've got a horrible feeling this is more enemy aircraft coming in. Like level up. He's going to go past before I even have time. Good hits, good hits. Moving on to Holy Terror. Engine number one looks to be rotating slightly slower. Could be wrong. Oh, maybe it's just the angle we're looking at it because that looks the same on engine four compared to three. Something coming in here. Good hits, good hits.
I've got level. Moving on now to Fuddy Duddy. One oh nines, we've got one oh nines. Another one coming in, I think. Got a clip on him, oh he's smoking, yes, yeah, definitely got him. It's not quite in my range, switching to the top turret. Can't see him. Quick check on it, everyone, everyone's okay, good stuff. Good hits, good hits. Switching to tail. Okay, he's gone. Switching aircraft. Back on, oh. All sorts of things going on in Black Magic. We have um, Lux von Friegel is down. He doesn't see. Oh God, where's he, where's he off? Okay, Kyle, I think he's going to sort out the um, Lux. Oh my goodness, we got the tail gunner down as well. Let's hop on the. Um, oh, hang on. Where is? Where is the tail gunner? Oh, uh, where's the top turret gunner? There we go. Let's cover the let's cover the tail with the uh, tail gunner currently down injured. Good stuff. Fuel tank had just erupted as he went over us. Okay, let's go and see what's going on here. Why is he not receiving any treatment? Got... Who's this? This is Drew. He's the uh, bombardier, isn't he? He is. Where, where's he going? He's going to sit on the tail. I'm not quite sure why. Right, Kyle. Will you go and pick um, Lux up while the other crew members are just faffing around and going nomadic around the crew? Oh, that's frustrating. Right, let's just hop on the tail gunner, which is in fact the bombardier. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. How are we doing? So who do we have at the front of the plane? We have no one. Right. Oh, who's this? Vincent Ray. Where are you, Vincent? You are, of course, the weight gunner. How about you go back to being uh, waste gunner. I want you on the nose. And who's our tail gunner? We have Elliot Tomlinson. Where are you, Elliot? Why are you there, Elliot? Why? Why? Get on your tail. Right, so where is the radio operator? Oh, they're all in this kind of traffic jam of the, uh, the waste. Okay, let's let them sort themselves out. While they do that, we're going to skip on to Billy Boy. Fighter out there. Oh, about to start the bomb run. We're gonna have to go to the plane. Okay. Let's just take hold of this. going to bomb plumb onto that. You can see the, um, you know, if we put bombs about 
there. You can see you've got the rail, all the railing here, all the rail works and all the factories and the warehouses next to it. Now actually let's try and bomb about there between the railway lines and the actual big warehouses. Whoops, something, inf something flamey just went past me. Uh, we are actually on a bit of a drift now. Hang on, let's just sort that out again. Okay, that's not bad. Oop. God, the perspex nose has been uh, shot to pieces. As the flak erupts. Um, we're going to take out the railway lines and the factories. There are some houses around here, so... I say factories, I mean the warehouses and stuff. Maybe we should be a little bit more over on the... Um, on the railway lines. Bonds away. Too late now. Okay, so here we are. here we have the rail junction. You can see all the trains, all the uh, the buildings, and the warehouses. Here come the shadows of the bombers. Now we were aiming for around about here. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, that's just oh, oh, oh. Bomb still falling. Goodness me, I didn't, wow, we really carpet bombed that, there we go, it's not working, there we go, so not only do we, oh we took out several houses here, I think these are houses, um, but we took out all the factory, uh, I say factory, all the warehouse complexes, all the big storage areas, we missed these oil storage tanks here and these, whatever these are, these cranes, but the tanks seem to be, tanks, The as in the rail tanks, Seem to be um, blackened and charred. Look at that. The little signaling rooms seem to be okay, but everything else seems to be pretty much wrecked. How did this train survive? I will never know. But look at the lines have been ripped up. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They're going to do lots of track repairs there. There it is. Burning below. Fantastic. Look at. Um, Wow, Beauty in a Box, she's taking a lot of flak damage. Look at that, to the tail, goodness me, how is everyone? Everyone is amazingly okay. Doesn't look that riddled with bullets and stuff in here, but she is a bit rackety from the old outside. Holy Terror 3 is not looking too bad, and all the crew seem to be in one piece. Fuddy Duddy, again, looks relatively in one piece. Crew all okay. Black Magic seems to have taken quite a bit of punishment from the old flak. She's a bit battered. A few holes in the wing there. She might be losing a touch of fuel, maybe. Uh, they all appear to be okay. Let's just have oh, some damage around the uh, cockpit. Let's have a look at... Um, no, fuel seems to be okay. Good stuff. So no, no damage to the fuel tanks on Black Magic. Billy Boy, oh, goodness me, it's huge damage to the tail, look at that, so a quick look on Billy Boy, the crew seem to be okay, which is good news, and then we have uh, Going My Way with a few holes in the tail as well, 
they are all okay. Good stuff. And the crew all in their right positions. Wow, look at this poor tail gunner. Here's the tail gunner. It is. Uh, Stanley Haynes. Goodness me, Stanley. You've got quite a drafty area there. Holes in the... Oh, wow, yeah. A few holes everywhere. Good stuff. Well... Goodness me. Not as bad as Beauty in a Box, though. Um, with that done, it seems to have quietened down. The flak seems to be over. And the fighters seem to have uh, given us a bit of peace. So we're going to be turning left up here and then uh, from going north we'll be then heading back to home base so if there's no further actions that need my uh, intervention we're going to press on so I'll see you in a little while hi everyone welcome back no further dramas as you can see the bombs are dropping back getting down low, orbiting and waiting to land. So this is where the second tensest and most nerve-wracking part of the mission comes, trying to get these damaged bombers down in one piece. Yes, fingers crossed we should be okay. I'll see you for approach and, for landing, and landing of as many bombers as I can capture. I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, welcome back. Holy Terror is about to make her run, so what I'm going to do is just move the ball turret gunner out and put him into the cheek, and that just, um, in case we have any uh, belly landings, that should just preserve the life of uh, Alexander. I think that is. It's difficult to say, the text keeps popping away. Let's have a look. Flaps are coming down okay, as on a good course. Let's check for the undercarriage. them to uh, drop it now so I got some time to have a look if it doesn't come down gonna see ah get the wheels down start cranking just coming down on one wheel take control we're just gonna go around again I'm gonna give buy some time to uh, get that wheel down Still cranking that wheel, come on, keep it cranking. We're gonna do a nice uh, tight and short approach and hopefully we can uh, get her down relatively calmly. I was gonna let the crew land it because it was doing a nice approach, but um, yeah, with that with that wheel problem, then uh, it's only right that we step in at this stage. Um, so we're gonna bring up the stats so I can see what speed we are so I don't stall out accidentally. Okay, that's almost down. By the time we make our approach run, we should be okay. No one else is turning in, I don't think. Not that I can see. Okay, that's pretty much down now. Get it to lock and we should be okay. Uh, where is this? Okay, nice tight approach. Really a bit of bank angle keep the speed up a little bit just so we uh, keep our lift going there we go oh, trying to get the camera angle right uh. well off profile but Oh, 
bit of a scruffy landing, but she's down. Give it back to the crew. They can uh, go and park up if they. Uh... Oh, I parked on the wrong. I I, I landed on the wrong. Good landing, Jack. Oh. Black magic, outside of my control. Has landed with the one wheel down. Oh, black magic. Yeah, this could be a scrapping. I tried to grab her right at the end, but I didn't have time, unfortunately. Um, also, we had a successful landing of Fuddy Duddy. Unfortunately, we were looking after the other bomber. Goodness me, black magic. Hopefully that's not the end. She's twanged those two engines. They've all, they've all jumped out of the plane, look, but the engine left the engines running. Hi guys, welcome back. Billy Boy's coming in, and she's got no landing gear either. It's been real wound down very slowly. Depending on how this goes, we may have to jump in. Although, although, we may be okay. She may just get it down in time. It's almost like a Ryanair pilot coming in. Flaps and landing gear to the, uh, the last minute. Look at the damage on that tail. Though. Okay, they're almost down. Come on, guys. Get this gear down. I think they're going to be okay. I think they're going to be okay. Get it locked down. Down and locked. It's looking good. Oh, Billy Boy is down. Oh, don't give up landing gear. Oh, it's holding. It's holding. Billy Boy is down. Great stuff. Great stuff. Good landing. Taxi to Harvey. She is badly beat up, though. Well done, Billy Boy. Okay, going my way is coming in. Landing gear has deployed okay. She's coming in. Ah, oh, she looks okay actually. Flaps working. She's got a few holes in the tail, but relatively intact bomber here. Nothing to worry about. All looking good. Come on, guys, land this. Looking good. Little tail flick now. There we go. Oh, beautiful landing. Control on the rudder. Lovely. Great landing. Going my way. Fantastic. Good stuff. Well, that leaves just one. Hi, guys. Last bomb moon. in. Okay. Here we go. Wheel is down and locked. That stabilizer is pretty wrecked. Coming. Whoa. Oh, bounce. Uh, but we're down. Probably not the best idea to uh, put that load through the um, the undercarriage as it was coming down. But we are down none the least. Phew. Okay, we're going to park up and I'll see you in debriefing. Hi everyone, welcome to debriefing. Goodness me. So, target for today was the Bruges Rail Junction. Uh, distance flown is bugged out. Bombers lost, zero. That's what I like, zero. 
Fighter shot down, 12. Good God, guys. Good God. Bomb damage estimate totally destroyed. Bruiser Rail Junction, 12 kills. Right, crew injury suffered. Divan. Or Divan. Light wound. Von Fliegel, flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. Moser got a severe wound. Oh no. Uh, Outlaw got a light wound. There's the uh, path of destruction. Wow, look at this. No promotions, but Outlaw received a purple heart. Moser received a purple heart and a bronze star. Congratulations. Uh, is it Common Man got a soldier's medal? Stevens got a bronze star. Callahan got a bronze star. Monk got a bronze star. Clark got a soldier's medal. Ace got a soldier's medal. Adam got a bronze star. Ebervine got a bronze star. Divian got a purple heart. Von Fliegel got a purple heart. And Tomlinson got a soldier's medal. Good God, I've never seen so medal many medals dished out. Oh, it's not en it's not ended there. McStudio got a Legion of Merit. Smith got a Distinguished Service Cross. Goodness me, well done. That is quite the hall of medals. I have, I honestly have never seen so many medals dished out. That is incredible. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. Let's head in here and um, have a look at the uh, the bomber files. Right, so if we go down to Beauty in a Box. No fighters shot down for Beauty in a Box. Wow, okay. So Moser got a Soldier's Medal. Oh, no, sorry, he didn't. Yes, he did. He got Bronze Star. Sorry, Man got a Soldier's Medal. And yet they did not shoot down any aircraft. So they must have done a lot of... Oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's it's probably first aid or something like that. Um, Holy Terror 3. One mission flown. Three kills. She's mechanically B status. Let's have a look here. So Callahan got a 190. Stevens got a 190. Monk got a 190. Well done, guys. Well done. She's mechanically... Uh, okay, Fuddy Duddy. One mission, three kills. Goodness me. She's mechanically A status. Adam has one, two 109s, and Ace has a 109 as well. Good stuff. Black Magic. Good. The good news is we're keeping the bomber. Missions flown, one. Enemy aircraft kills, three. Mechanically B status. Um, Von Fliegel got three 190s. Well done. Great shooting. Fantastic. And what did Flegel get? A purple heart. Is that what he got? No, he got something more than that, didn't he? Surely. Um, Billy Boy. One mission, two kills. Mechanically B status. Um, Studio got a 109 and a 190. Congratulations. Got the leader on merit as well. Going my way. One mission, one kill. Mechanically A status. Smith got a 190. Goodness me, well done, guys. So if we pop out here and we're going to have a look at where's Black Magic. Repairs have already started, but it looks like they patched up some of the tail. Uh, let's have a look. What's wrong with Black Magic? She's mechanically B status. Left main gear is jammed. Left main gear is punctured. Right main gear is punctured. Left wing surface is damaged. Um, oh, okay. That's not too bad at all. Arrows to fix five. Hardly worth bothering. No, that's absolutely fine. That's not too bad at all. Let's have a look at uh, what was the other. Fuddy Duddy was okay. Beauty in a box is pretty beat up. Oh, look at that tail. Yes, yes, yes. Let's have a quick look at. Um, so left main gear jammed, left main punctured, elevator damage, right elevator damage, right wing flap damage, right wing surface damage, rudder damaged, horizontal stabilizer damaged, vertical stabilizer damaged. Um, five hours to fix, no worries. Good stuff. So we are doing relatively well. I'm quite pleased. Yes, all going quite well. 
Uh, let's see if we get any information back from uh, uh, headquarters have recently carried out a review of the relative performance of the squadron within the 8th Air Force and I'm happy to say that the 534th squadron ranks very favorably this is a letter of congratulations which I hope you'll pass on to your crews and ground staff well done major well I've, well, well I never what a great day to be me good stuff well we'll leave it there guys a very successful mission all bombers back all bombers safe some will need a little bit of repair a few more crew injuries let's just check on the medical file to see them uh melvin we did last time from uh hiking for home formerly first mate due out on the 22nd uh chance brewer from miss irish bombardier injured last time out 22nd as well um all American, aka Laden Maiden, uh, J Trigger, injured due back on the 15th, so only uh, 10 days. Um, Deadwood Outlaw, Beauty in a Box Navigator, here we go, uh, injured in the raid junction, due out in uh, five days, so not long to wait, so not too much RR for him. Moser, uh, Bronze Star Purple Heart, as you can see. Um, ooh. 25th so he's got 20 days in hospital pretty much so uh, yeah plenty of uh, nurse chasing and R&R &R for him Carl Divin or Divian or Divan Stephen Divin Divan let me know how you pronounce that Carl phonetically if you could because otherwise I'll keep mis mispronouncing it all the time didn't mean to do that let's quickly skip through Okay, due out on the 9th, which is good. Only a few days, and that is it. That is all. Good stuff. Well, I've got a cup of tea here. I've got a nice picture of my crews. Uh, we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Everyone is still alive. The bombers are still going. Things are going great. And the mods I installed seem to be pretty much all there. I don't think I've missed one, but if you see one you think you missed, then let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll double check. But thanks ever so much for watching. Oh, it's been a bit of a trial getting here, but we've managed to get Mission 2 completed. So next time we'll see which bombers are fit for purpose and ready to go next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.